Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be something really, really exciting, but also kind of scary. I'm a bit nervous for it. I'm going to be taking a page out of Emma Chamberlain's book and I'm not going to be going on my phone for 24 hours. So Emma recently posted a video where she didn't go on her phone for 24 hours and she locked her phone in a box. And at the end of the video, she said that she really encouraged everyone else to give it a go, not going on their phone for 24 hours because she felt really relaxed for the day and she had a really, really good day day so I decided to take her advice and I'm going to do this for 24 hours I'm not going to go on my phone at all and I'm going to try and stay off technology altogether although I do have to edit a video so yeah I'll have to do that but I won't be like going texting anyone or going on social media or anything like that so today is Saturday the 30th of March it's 10 past 9 in the morning and I am at my auntie and uncle's house in Brighton visiting my granddad and my uncle because my auntie is away so me and my mum are here for the rest of the day today I woke up about seven o'clock this morning and I got ready so I'm completely ready for the day I've had my breakfast already and me and my mum are just about to go to Sainsbury's to get some stuff here she is now your day of 24 hours without a phone? Yes, it is. <laughs> Good luck. I know, I'm a bit nervous. So I've just cleared all of my notifications. I have no notifications left. It's 12 past nine in the morning and I am about to turn my phone off. My phone actually only had 32% so I'm going to put it on charge but I'm not going to go on it or anything when I take it off. I might actually get my mum to take it off so that I don't touch my phone for 24 hours. Right, let's go to Sainsbury's. We just got in the car and I looked around for my phone and then I thought, oh, I'll put some music on, on my phone but I don't have my phone. So I can't do any of that. We're going to have to listen to the boring radio, mum. <laughs> Who listens to the radio? I've got music on my phone. No. <laughs> I mean you could but it's literally been about five ten minutes since the last clip and we were just talking about what we should get my nan for Mother's Day and then I was like oh yeah maybe I'll get her this and I want to order it off Amazon so I went on my mum's phone like picked it up and then remembered I can't go on a phone <laughs> and my mum says that it's gonna be a lot harder than I anticipated isn't it <laughs> everyone's staring at me then did you see it yeah. <laughs> I think it's also going to be hard because I haven't seen Charlie since Thursday or Friday morning actually so it's only been like a day but I haven't spoken to him really so so we've just got back from Sainsbury's and my mum and I are prepping some meals for the week for my granddad and uncle I'm making a spaghetti bolognese a cottage pie and a Chicken, chicken casserole that my mum's stirring right now and I am just cutting onions for the meals this is the time that I'd normally go on my phone or put a video up on my phone whilst I'm cooking so you're gonna have to keep me entertained <laughs> going on with this onion? Ah, this knife is not even sharp. Okay, well, pick another. Oh no. <laughs> I feel embarrassed because I'm cutting this onion so bad. I'm never normally this bad at cutting onions. Quite good actually. Oh, it's still small. This is a bit rubbish. That's not even a. What? Mum, there's not. That's not happening. So I've just come upstairs to change my battery for my camera because my camera died and my battery is right here on charge and then my phone is there on charge and I came up and I was like getting that battery out and then I almost clicked the time and then I realised that I'm not allowed to even touch my phone. I mean it's off anyway so it wouldn't have done anything but 
like it's right there right there so here is the final bolognese sauce so all they have to do is just put pasta on and garlic bread then this kitchen is very messy right now then we've got the cottage pie right here my mum is doing it and then here is the chicken casserole it looks disgusting but i absolutely hate casserole so that's why i think one thing that i've I think one thing that I've found is that I have absolutely no idea what the time is because I always look at my phone for the time. Like I have a Fitbit on, but I just don't look at that. So I don't know what the time is right now. I think maybe about 12. What was time? Not bad. Not bad. I can tell by the daylight, what direction <laughs> it's coming. The smell in the air tells me that it's 12 o'clock. watching I need to edit so this is great great times so we just got back from my uncle's house and we needed to pop into Sainsbury's on the way home to pick up something for my mum's gift to my nan for Mother's Day and when we were in Sainsbury's I saw someone that went on Love Island and normally if I saw someone that was on like a reality TV show I would text Charlie and I'd be like oh look I just saw this person or text one of my friends or something but I couldn't because I didn't have my phone and I mean that's good because like who really cares it's just a person but I don't know I'm not really missing my phone at all really but like it's kind of made me realize how much I'm on my phone like I'm constantly and I mean constantly watching YouTube videos like I'll always have a YouTube video on or a podcast on or music on or something like that or Netflix on my phone and just walk around the house with it or like walk my dog with it or I don't even know like when I'm in the car I listen to podcasts when I'm just walking around like I'll be in the bathroom brushing my teeth with a YouTube video right in front of me so I think it's kind of made me realize how much TV on my phone I watch and how much I'm actually on my phone and it's quite bad to be honest I feel like I need to cut down on how much time I actually spend on my phone the only thing I really wish I could do right now is text Charlie to tell him that I'm back and ask him when he's back from football because normally on a Saturday he will get back from football around this time it's about half five and he's normally back by now but he's not back so um so i've been sat in my room for about an hour now just editing this video it's now exporting and it's seven o'clock so yeah i think i find that without my phone i get a lot more editing done like i've literally just been sat here for about an hour maybe a little bit over non-stop editing like i didn't take any breaks or anything like that and when i normally edit i like to take breaks every half an hour so that i don't get bored and i will sit on my phone for probably like 10 minutes and just scroll through like social media so i think that it's actually quite good because this kept me motivated the fact that i haven't got my phone right next to me and i haven't been like watching any youtube or anything like that i literally just sat there and edited my video yeah so it is seven o'clock and charlie is still not home so i don't know where he is and i really want to text him right now but i can't i've just got to try and let it go and pretend that i don't care when i really really do so tonight i actually want to have a shower wash my hair shave my legs you know fake tan do all my girly sort of things and i normally when i do this i normally have my phone and i listen to music or i watch a movie while i'm shaving my legs or something like that so i can't do that i'm gonna be sat in the silence in the bathroom unless i get a radio or something i don't think i have a radio but yeah so i've got to do that and i've also got to make some sort of dinner for me and charlie if he's coming back tonight, I don't know where he is. Right, so it's been another 15 minutes and Charlie is still not home, so I'm going to call him on my house phone. Let's see if he picks up. Hello? Yeah, are you? Yeah, look, I'm calling you on the house phone. <laughs> where are you? I didn't get the message because I'm not allowed to go on my phone for 24 hours. Let's just cover this spot so that you don't have to look at it while I speak to you. But Charlie is on his way now. He was at home watching the football, a typical boy. We're going to make some dinner as soon as he gets here. And I also need to have a shower. So I might go down and actually prep the vegetables. 
because I just have nothing to do. Like, I'm just sat. I should probably read my book. I have a book that I'm reading at the moment, but I don't know. He's home and we're making sweet potato, whatever they are, not fries, like tops sort of things. And we're having corn, chicken nuggets and beans. Lovely, lovely Saturday meal, isn't it? Yeah. Better than going out for a takeaway. Right, so I'm about to go and get in the shower now and wash my hair and shave my legs and exfoliate. And normally that takes me about 30 to 45 minutes, sometimes an hour if I'm just chilling. But I'm going to go and try and do it really, really quickly because I won't be able to go on my phone and I won't be able to watch anything and I won't be able to listen to music. So I might just be sat there bored and might want to get out quickly. It is 7.40 right now. Let's see if I can get out of the shower in... 20 minutes it won't be 20 minutes it'll be like half an hour but we'll just see it is 18 minutes past eight right now and i mean i didn't get in there until like quarter two so i was probably about 35 minutes but i had to proper scrub my tan off and i think i'm gonna have to go back in and do it again but charlie's calling me for dinner so i had to get out so i'm gonna go and have my dinner now put my dressing gown and go and have my dinner look at our dinner this literally looks so good oh my god i love beans so we finished dinner about an hour ago and then I went and got in the shower and washed off my conditioner and shaved my legs and everything and now I'm ready for bed and Charlie is watching Man Vs Food, you can't even no, see it. No, it's a new one. Man finds food because he got replaced on Man Vs Food. Okay, well Charlie is watching Man Finds Food and he's on his phone right now and I'm just sat here doing nothing because I don't really want to watch this. So I might read my book, actually. That's a good idea. That's a good idea, isn't it, Charlie? Yeah. Right, I'm going to go and read my book then, and I will see you guys in the morning, hopefully at 7 o'clock. Hopefully. Good morning, guys. So I've just woken up, and it is quarter to nine. I think I woke up about quarter past eight, and then I just laid in bed for a bit, but I didn't realise what time it was. This is the time in the morning where I normally like go on my phone or watch a video or something like that while I'm waking up and i'm kind of just walking around doing nothing and it feels really weird just faked hand i look great right now promise it won't look like this when i wash it off but i'm gonna make my mum some breakfast and me some breakfast as well because i'm really really hungry now quarter past 11 and it has officially been over 24 hours it's been 25 hours actually because the clocks went back or forward back, back. the clocks went back last night so we actually lost an hour of sleep so that's why i woke up so late my body clock wasn't adjusted so yeah it's been 25 hours and i'm about to turn my phone on let's turn it on These thoughts are just not nice. Ta -da! I've got 100%. No notifications so far. Still none. Oh. Oh, I've got seven new WhatsApps. They're probably from your family chat, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Uh, the only people that have messaged me in 24 hours is Charlie and my boss. That just proves how many friends I have, doesn't it? Yeah, what? One, and that's my boyfriend. That's jokes. So I think that's where I'm gonna end the video for today. It was a good video. I enjoyed not going on my phone for 24 hours. I think, like Emma said, it was really relaxing just to not think about your phone or think about messages and stuff like that. But I did, there was quite a few occasions where I wanted to go on my phone to check things or to text Charlie or to check the time and stuff. So 
yeah i mean i probably won't go on my phone as much because i've realized that i don't need it to like do stuff throughout the day yeah i can't promise that i won't go on my phone at all throughout the day i upload new videos every wednesday and sunday even though it's not really on schedule at the moment but i'm trying my hardest to get it back on schedule so make sure you subscribe to stick around to watch them and yeah thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you in my next one say bye bye Oh, oh, oh.